What is up guys? It is Coasters and Things here today, and it is officially my one year anniversary. I am amazed how many subscribers and followers I have amassed over the past year, and I can't wait to start another year. I was thinking of what video I could do for my one year, and I thought to myself, a couple of weeks ago I released my top 25 roller coasters I've ridden. So, for my anniversary, it's time I present to you my top 10 amusement parks I've been to 2019 edition. Right off the bat, I've been to a total of 26 different amusement parks. I will be breaking 30 next year, so over half of the parks I've been to will not make this list. I love all the parks on this list. I really had a hard time with some of these, just know that. I do not own all the footage shown. The footage shown that doesn't belong to me will be given credit to its original owners in the description below. Let's waste no more time and get right into it. Starting off in the number 10 spot is Six Flags New England in Agawam, Massachusetts. This is one of three Six Flags parks I have been to, and I really enjoyed it. I went in June 2018, and I was really excited to finally get to ride my first RMC, my first Intamin Mega Coaster, and my first B&M Floorless Coaster. One thing though, both Superman the Ride and Wicked Cyclone are amazing. However, there is a huge drop off after that for what their next best coaster is. I was not able to get all the coaster credits here due to Goliath being shut down for 3 months straight during that time. Also, this park lacked charm that the parks later on this list have. It's a good park, just not the best in the world. The number 9 spot might be a bit of an upset. It is Lake Compounds in Bristol, Connecticut. This park is so underrated. When most people think of this park, they think of one thing, Boulder Dash. Boulder Dash is an incredible wooden coaster. However, this park, aside from Boulder Dash, is so charming. It has that small hometown park feel that I love. And the entrance is very picturesque, with the game stands and Wildcat in the background. Phobia Fear Coaster was my first Skyrocket too, and I got a Zen ride on it. Overall, this park is so charming and vastly underrated. Coming in number 8 is Kentucky Kingdom in Louisville, Kentucky. Formerly Six Flags Kentucky Kingdom, I love the top two roller coasters at this park, Storm Chaser and Lightning Run. They are both incredible and both top coasters. Also Kentucky Flyer, which is just plain fun. I rode Kentucky Flyer nine times this year. True story. It is the definition of a rewritable coaster. Thunder Run, which felt reborn as a coaster this year after the extensive retrack it had last year. Also, this park has my personal favorite water park I've been to. I haven't been to many water parks, but of the ones I have been to, Hurricane Bay is my favorite. Now one thing is that both times I have been here, it has rained. However, that hasn't gotten in the way of what I wanted to accomplish at the park. There's just so many reasons why this park is great, and it is so much better now than it used to be. Number 7 is Six Flags Great America in Gurney, Illinois. I was really excited about visiting this park because it was my first time visiting one of the three big Six Flags parks, the other two being Magic Mountain and Great Adventure. One thing about this park that kind of left me underwhelmed though is the roller coasters. Now you're probably thinking, how could you be underwhelmed? They have 16 coasters. Well, here's how. They have two amazing coasters, Max Force and Goliath, and then Raging Bull is really good. It just barely missed my top 25, by the way. All the other coasters aren't anything special. They're filler. Now, this is my favorite Six Flags park I've been to. It's a really good park. It's just their roller coasters, for the most part, aren't anything special. That is why it is coming in at the spot that it did. The number six spot belongs to Busch Gardens Tampa. This park in Tampa Bay, Florida is special to me because this park is responsible for me being an enthusiast. I was originally scared of roller coasters, then a few years ago, my parents told me we were going to Florida for a vacation. I asked them, can we go to Busch Gardens? I want to get over my fear of roller coasters. So we did. I rode Cheetah Hunt in the front row and fell in love with roller coasters right then and there. And it was my first roller coaster to go upside down. Montu was my first B&M coaster. Kumba was the most intense coaster I had ridden at the time. 
The one coaster I was afraid of was Shikra. The whole idea of hanging 200 feet in the air over the drop was just bizarre to me. But I did it and I also got the last ride of the day on it before it shut down due to nearby storms. I overall love this park and can't wait to go back to ride Iron Gwazi. We're now moving into the top five. Number five is Carowinds in Charlotte, North Carolina and Fort Mill, South Carolina. This is the only park nestled in two states, and I can't wait to visit this park again in 2020. The first time I went there in March 2018, I went for Intimidator first. It was my first coaster over 200 feet, my first coaster over 70 miles an hour, and my first B&M Hyper. Afterburn was amazing as well. I saved Fury 325 for later in the day. When I got to Fury, I'll admit I was really nervous. I had just ridden my first 200 foot tall coaster that same day, and here I was about to ride a coaster almost 100 feet taller than it. I was really scared to ride it, and when I got off, I was shaking. I had no idea what had just happened. When I went back this year in April, I went in telling myself I was going to get back on Fury, and I enjoyed it way more after I had experienced many more extreme coasters. Also this year, Copperhead Strike was my 100th roller coaster. It felt so good to finally hit my 100th coaster. Also, two really quick shout-outs. The first one goes to Carolina Thrills, and the second one goes to two enthusiasts I met at a coaster enthusiast event at Dollywood, actually. All three of these people I am friends with and have Carowinds as their home park. I really like this place overall and can't wait to return. Number four goes to Holiday World in Santa Claus, Indiana. This park is widely known for its small but great collection of roller coasters. The voyage is absolutely incredible and is in my top three roller coasters I've ridden. Thunderbird is a really good B&M wing coaster. Raven and Legend are underrated, and this park's water park is great. They have my personal favorite water ride, Mammoth, and also Wildebeest and soon-to-be Cheetah Chase. Three awesome water coasters. Thanksgiving is by far my favorite section of the park. With Voyage and Thunderbird both in that area, I could spend all day in the Thanksgiving section. Voyage at night, back row, is one of the best coaster experiences I've ever had. And I didn't even go during Hollywood nights. Plus, the food here is really good. This park really is secluded from a major urban area, but that makes you like it all the more. Now for the top three. Starting off at number three is Kings Island in Mason, Ohio. This is the latest park I've been to, and I've really enjoyed it. This park has so many trees and greenery, which some parks struggle with. As a result, a lot of the roller coasters here go back into the woods. The Beast, Mystic Timbers, The Bat, these all go way back into the woods. Mystic Timbers is currently my favorite GCI, and Diamondback is currently my favorite B&M Hyper. And of course, coming next year is Orion, the newest Giga Coaster. It also was cool getting to meet Logan from Coaster Kids slash Thrills United, and getting to hang out with him that morning and ride Vortex with him before it closed down. I had high expectations for this park, but I was still blown away by how much I enjoyed this park. My number two park used to be my number one until this year. This is Dollywood in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. This has been my home park all my life. I've been going here since I was five years old, so I've really seen it grow and change over the years. Lightning Rod is the star of the show, my favorite wooden coaster, and formerly my favorite roller coaster. Wild Eagle is the first B&M wing coaster in America. Thunderhead was my first big roller coaster. Tennessee Tornado is my favorite aerodynamics coaster. And new this year is Wildwood Grove, which is a great children's and family-oriented area. It also snapped Kings Island's 18-year win streak of Best Kids Area in the Golden Ticket Awards. The food at this park is top-notch. The cinnamon bread is my favorite park food, period. Lumberjacks and Victoria's Pizza are both fantastic pizza places. And of course, their new restaurant they opened this year, Till and Harvest, which I just recently had for the first time. I realize I'm probably a little biased towards this park, but if you've never been to this park, you need to make this one of your bucket list parks. Lightning Rod and the Cinnamon Bread alone are worth it, as is everything else at this wonderful park. 
So there's one park left. I think you all know what it is. My number one park I've ever been to is Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. I had been wanting to go to this park for almost 10 years. Ever since I had heard of it, I had always thought it would be so cool to go there someday. This year, as my high school graduation gift, I finally got to go to the park of my dreams, and boy did it live up to the hype. We stayed at Hotel Breakers, which is a really high quality hotel. Everything about this park is amazing. The roller coasters, the atmosphere, the size of the park, it's all incredible. This park has the greatest collection of roller coasters in one park. I truly believe it does. Steel Vengeance is my number one roller coaster I've ever ridden. Top Thrill Dragster is a fantastic launch coaster. Maverick is very low and intense. Millennium Force was the first ever Giga Coaster, and so many other coasters such as Magnum, Raptor, Gatekeeper, and all the others. And this park has so many family rides. There really is something for everyone at this park. Everything about this park is worth the trip. Every single coaster enthusiast at some point in their life has to visit Cedar Point. I can assure you, you'll love every second. That is why Cedar Point is my number one amusement park I have been to. That is my current top 10 amusement parks I have been to. The 2020 season will be here before we know it, and I just can't wait to visit more parks next year such as Hershey Park, Six Flags Great Adventure, and King's Dominion. I am very excited to enter my second year on YouTube. Let me know your opinions on this list, and also let me know what your favorite parks are. I'm interested to hear your opinions. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Coasters and Things, signing out.